Hello Taurus and Cross Watchers, welcome to my channel. If you like this reading, please be sure to like and click the subscribe button. All you have to do is tap on that red subscribe button so this way any future uh, readings that I do or videos that I post will just come right up on your feed, okay? Now again, if this does not resonate with you, it is a general reading. It is not meant to resonate with everyone. So please be sure to check your uh, moon, rising, and Venus signs. They may resonate a little bit more with what you are going through. Taurus, let's get started. What messages do we have for Taurus? Love messages for Taurus. Okay, so we have some earth signs here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. We have uh, water here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we also have um, air, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So we have pretty much everyone here so far. Okay, Taurus, so the underlining energy of the reading is going to be the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands. So this is fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, and this is conflict. This is competition. This is standing your, your ground. So you might have some conflict going on right now, Taurus. Um, all right, so I see the Knight of Pentacles coming in. Okay, so this is a very stable, responsible person. This is a person who's very responsible with money. Um, and this, you know, could be you or it could be your person. And I feel like this person is in need of some mental rest, okay? Uh, some mental rest because they are very tired. So this could be, I feel like this is your person. I'm not sure why, but I feel like this is your person, Taurus. They're very financially well off. Um, they're coming towards you with, with, they do have money, okay? They do bring money into this relationship, but they're getting tired. Something's happening where they're getting tired and they're, they're looking to move away because um, mentally they're just a little exhausted of what's going on, okay? Now, um, we are looking for, we have the Ace of Wands here, okay, which is new beginnings, all right? And um, you may have a new beginning with this person. This is a Virgo energy here. It can also be a Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo energy, which again, you know, coincides with this. So this person is very well off, Taurus. This is a person who is very independent and financially stable, okay? So um, it, this is something new. This isn't, I feel like this is a new relationship here, okay? Now they or you, somebody is very sad. Somebody is thinking about uh, something that they lost, okay? As you can see here, they're looking down, this is the Five of Cups, they're looking down at what was lost and not what they have, and it is causing them a lot of anxiety, okay? So this could be you, Taurus, or it could be your person. Um, I do feel like it might be your person because we had clarifying uh, the Knight of Pentacles was mental rest. So your your person might be going through something, um, either in the relationship or, you know, what's, they're going through something and they're, they're going through a hard time right now. They're going through a lot of fear, anxiety, uh, mental stress. Um, they're, they're definitely going through something. I, I can't say for sure whether it's, you know, with you or an outside source. But they're going through something and it is causing you guys to argue. It is causing you guys to argue. So we do see here the High Priestess is being uh, clarified by the Lover's card. Okay, so this person is a soulmate energy. This is a very intuitive person. Um, but there are some secrets here. Okay, the, the, the High Priestess does represent secrets, so maybe there's something that they're keeping from you, maybe they're missing somebody uh, from their past, and it is, causing, um, it is causing a little bit of anxiety because, again, this is new. I feel like this is a new relationship, Taurus, and something is going on. I, I feel like this is their energy. Um, they're missing someone. They're having some anxiety, uh, but it is th what they have with you is a soulmate connection. It is a soulmate connection, and... Um, but, you know, sometimes, you know, soul, it doesn't mean because someone's your soulmate that they have to be with you. So, and it doesn't mean they're not going to be with you, okay? But it does mean that um, 
you know, this could also stand for decisions. This could also stand for decisions, okay? Um, the high priestess is secrets, and this, this can also stand for decisions. They may be deciding, um, this is a Gemini card, okay? So, you know, we might be dealing with a Gemini. Um, they might have a decision that they have to make, possibly. So let's see here. So here we have the Knight of Pentacles, again, being clarified by the Justice card. Okay, so maybe they they feel like they're being untreated fairly by you. Okay, um, it could be again, it could be something outside of the relationship, but maybe they feel like they're being treated unfairly uh, by you or by this, you know, per, by someone else. Um, but I do see it here for the Ace of Wands, which is a new beginning in communication. Okay, that they are going to have a new beginning in communication with the king of swords okay so the king of swords taurus um is going to be a person who is very seductive it's going to be a person who's very uh take charge take action type of person um we i mean it is an air sign so it is gemini uh libra or aquarius energy okay and again let's keep in mind i mean this is also stands for gemini too so we could be dealing with a gemini possibly but um this is new beginning in communication and i feel like you know it might be with you i might be some i, I feel like something happened i i don't really get an energy that it's you two fighting i feel like it's you know they're going through something they maybe they're they're just coming out of a really bad relationship okay and you know they're going through something and maybe it's affecting your relationship a little bit but there's going to be a new communication between the both of you now um, the Five of Cups here is clarified by the Knight of Wands, okay? So as I said, you know, this person, or this could be you, Taurus, it could be you, okay, is very sad or upset over something, okay? And they are going to have communication about it. They're going to start talking to you about it, okay? They're going to start telling you what's wrong, all right? Um, now, the High Priestess is clarified by the Ten of Coins, okay? So again, this person is very well off. This person um, is going to bring financial stability into the relationship, all right? So they are very well off. This is, you know, money coming in through um, a spouse, a partner, or a third party, okay? So they, they are bringing money in. Now, the Four of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords, okay? So this is why I'm thinking that your person may be coming out of a bad relationship because the Four of Swords is mental rest and it's being clarified by the Ten of Swords, which means that something has to come to an end for something new to begin with you, Taurus, okay? So they may be ending a relationship um, and, you know, to start something new with you and it is causing them a little bit of anxiety, Okay, it is causing them a, a little bit of anxiety. Now, this financially stable person, okay, Virgo energy, um, is going to bring you luck. It's going to bring you blessings, Taurus, okay? You want to see things moving forward. This is a wheel. You want to move forward with this person, and they're, they're going to bring a lot of good fortune to you. Now, they are super stressed out. Your person is really stressed out, a lot of sleepless nights. But I feel that here you are, Taurus. You're clarifying this card. You're coming in with your cup of love, okay? You're, you're there. We have the Knight of, of uh, Cups here, which is, uh, you know, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, but I feel like, you know, they're really upset, and you're here to bring them that big old cup of love and try to do everything you can to make them feel better, all right? Um, now here we have the lover's card that is clarified by the strength card. So Taurus, I mean, I feel like this is a soulmate energy for you, okay? But they are going through, your person is going through a tough time. Now this can be vice versa, okay? This could be you going through a tough time. And this can be your, your person coming towards you with love and, and trying to take care of the situation. But this soulmate connection, you know, with what they're going through right now, you have to step up your game. You cannot be forceful with this person. You cannot try to push them into healing. You cannot force them to heal. You know, you have to do it gently. This is the Beauty and the Beast card. You see that? You see how, you know, she's in control of the situation. She's handling the lion, but she's doing it with grace and kindness and not, you know, rrr, rrr, you know, she's, she, she's doing it with gentleness and love. And I feel like that's what your person needs from you right now. They don't need the conflict. 
okay? They don't need the conflict because they're going through enough as it is. They need you to come in with love and care and kindness, okay? So I feel that, um, you know, again, I don't really feel that, I don't feel an energy that, that this conflict here is between you and your person. I feel like you might be... Um, because this does stand for competition. So I do feel like whatever your person is going through, you may feel like it's taking away from your time, okay? Um, like, you know, now you have to deal with this and you can't enjoy your time with the person that you care about. And, you know, but that's also part of being in a relationship, Taurus. You know, I mean, it's give and take. If, if your person is going through something like this and they're having a lot of anxiety, um, you know, a lot of depression, being upset, if they need mental rest, you know, it's, it's your, you know, partner's job you know obviously a big part of their life ended and something new is beginning okay something new is beginning and i feel like that beginning you know is you okay they do realize that this is a great connection i mean we have a soulmate card here um but they need you to really come in slowly with the love you see that that horse is not um charging it's coming in slowly they need you to take things slow and they need you to be loving and kind and they need you to do it gracefully and with love all right Taurus so let's see here what the romance angels have to say what messages do we have for Taurus I'm looking at these cards and something just tells me that this high priestess here stands for secrets so what I feel is happening here, Taurus, is that your partner is going through something, but they're not communicating with you how they feel, Taurus. And this is why you're feeling so conflicted. You're feeling like you don't know what's going on. Do they love me? Do they not love me? I really love them. Obviously, here you have the soulmate card. You know, I really love them. And you have a lot of conflict going on mentally because they're holding it back from you. But I do feel like, see here, the, the you know, the Five of Cups is being clarified by, by the... Um, Knight of Wands, I do feel like they're going to open up and talk to you, Taurus. I do feel like they're going to open up and talk to you, but that is only going to happen, Taurus, if you are gentle with them, you know? If you're gentle with them, you can't be, you know, Taurus is the sign of a bull. You can't charge towards them and, you know, um, force them. You can't charge towards them and force them. Free yourself. It's safe for you to love and forgiving and learning. Okay. And underneath here, okay, the energy of this is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, Taurus. Okay. So what you feel for this person is real. It is real. And that is why you're in such a state of conflict right now. Because you're like, wow, I caught feelings for this person. And now they're kind of like, I don't want to say closing themselves off, but something's up. You know, and I don't know what it is. Do they not love me? Do they not care about me? Um, so I feel like that's kind of your energy. Now here it says free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So Taurus, what I feel like this is telling you is, is you're so caught up with this, this mental turmoil of do they love me? Do they not love me? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. I need to know, you know, be your own person. Okay. Well, this person is going through their hard time. Okay. You have to take a step back so that you can regain your composure and love them. Okay, because you can't bring love and peace. You can't bring this love and peace softly and kindly like that if you have this going on mentally. Okay, so free yourself of this conflict. Gain your peace back. Gain your composure. Let's keep in mind that the King of Swords here is a strategic person. He does not base himself off of emotion. Okay, you see his armor there? He is like a knight. Okay, he wins the prize by using his brain, not his emotion, Taurus. So again, this could all be vice versa, okay? But I really do feel that the energy here is that your person is going through something <clears throat> and you're you're feeling very conflicted about it. So I feel like this is telling me to telling me that you need to free yourself of that conflict and that it is safe for you to love this person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Love them, Taurus show your love show your love to them be kind okay be kind be kind and let them open up to you because this is i mean a very deep commitment on its way this is a soulmate twin flame energy okay now here we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments okay so 
this person i feel is trying to forgive is trying to move on okay they're in a lot of turmoil something is ending for them they're having a lot of anxiety sleepless nights they really need mental rest and taurus they need your love they need your love they want they want the new beginning with you they do understand this is a soulmate energy and this is a person that's really good for you taurus they're going to bring a lot of financial stability a lot of blessings this is someone who's very financially independent and and um, you know, stable, okay? So it is a very good partnership, Taurus, but they're going through a hard time and they need you. They need that King of Swords to, you know, they are emotional right now. They don't need you to be emotional too. They need you to think with your mind and bring the strength and the real strength. You know, they say strength is love, not brutality, not by force, okay? They need you to bring the real strength into the picture. And I do feel like this person is keeping her, the, her or his inner feelings a secret from you because, um, you know, you're, they're afraid on how you're going to react. They're afraid you might blow up, you know. So you want them to feel safe, Taurus. You want your partner to feel safe enough to tell you anything, okay? So again, if you like the reading, please be sure to click the like button. Um, for more clarification, you can always contact me for a personal reading. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Take care.